always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. I always like the track to return its sunshine on a spring day. This is a time lapse a couple hours ago at the South Haven area. You'll be able to see a lot of clouds, but look at this, the final frames, more sunshine building in, and that's a trend that we're going to see this afternoon. It's gonna be gradual in inland areas, but at the Lakeshore, you're enjoying the sunshine right now. Live view, this is Muskegon, but as we head inland a little bit, you'll be able to see Grand Rapids, not there yet, but we'll get there, and we'll drop south to Middleville and inland areas, so still, still a lot of clouds out there in uh, inland locations. Live View Grand Haven, yeah, you get the sunshine as well. Nice day to head out to the beach, maybe take a little walk if you have that time. Off to the south, you can see the dividing line, some cooler temperatures that have now once again made their way throughout most of Michigan. The cold front is kind of just hung up right across southern lower Michigan. Notice the 60s off to the south. They will return for tomorrow. Here's a look at some of those temperatures right now. Warmest right along the Michigan Indiana State Line. Still 50 currently in cold water. We're at 42 in uh, Kalamazoo, 37. One of the cooler spots, Grand Rapids, 35 in Ionia. But at the lakeshore where there's some sunshine, and most locations have made it into the 40s. Right now, the wind is fairly light out there, about 10 in Grand Rapids or less. You can see calm very close to that front in the Kalamazoo and the Battle Creek area and current wind chill temperatures, uh, not too bad, uh, right around 30 degrees. That's what it feels like now. It's gonna be, again, a nicer, warmer afternoon. Here's a steady progress of that clearing line working its way off to the south and east, but there's still enough low level moisture here with the sun coming out that we're starting to develop a few clouds, but drier air will continue its progress uh, as uh, this area of low pressure starts moving to the east. Uh, you can see, again, a lot of clearing off to the northwest of us. You can see a lot of fog out there towards Green Bay and the Oshkosh area. That's also dissipating as well. So we'll end the day. Certainly, uh, we're going to need the sunglasses. Here's the future cast. Shows that area of low pressure making steady progress to the east, taking the deeper moisture with it. Again, partly cloudy and mostly clear skies. We head into the evening hour. Should be a beautiful sunset. Followed up with a tranquil night, and we'll wake up to a nice sunrise tomorrow morning. The difference tomorrow, we'll have our winds coming in out of the south, so we'll enjoy partly cloudy skies with a light breeze out of the south, and that southerly wind is going to tap those 60s I showed you earlier on that regional temperature map. That's going to push them right up into Michigan. Just like last time, we hit 60 degrees. It didn't last very long. Already another cold front slides in. This is 8 o'clock Thursday morning. This is what I was trying to figure out uh, yesterday, how quickly that cold front would move in. And it looks like during the morning hours, uh, you know, most areas, especially from Grand Rapids to the north and west, uh, a couple of sprinkles possible or a light shower with it certainly is going to bring in some more clouds and uh, some cooler temperatures. Here's the future cast. We'll take your rain through uh, the jet stream, and you'll be able to see right through the Great Lakes, milder for Wednesday, Thursday, but here comes another shot of some colder air, and that's going to arrive for Friday and Saturday. Stiff east wind out there. The brisk and also damp. We're looking at rain showers on Friday. Not a very pleasant day, and that's going to carry over to Saturday as well. So anytime you tap still that cold, cold temperatures in Canada, you can get days like that. So enjoy this afternoon and tomorrow. Enjoy this afternoon yeah. and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But yeah. even with that 46, that's still like, what, 20-some degrees warmer than what we were this last Saturday? Oh, yeah. We never made it out of the teens this previous Saturday. That was our coldest high temperature. We uh, <laughs> tied it, you know, for the day. We'll leave that in the past. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Matt.